and I'm recording so this is gonna be a short stream today I'm tired it's been a long day I've been home 30 minutes that's it so go live And I'm live. No. Fucker. Get out of here. Make sure everything's working like it should. Refresh that. I'm recording and I'm live. Nobody's popped in yet, so it's just a recording. So this part will go on YouTube. So where I left off yesterday, this guy was doing his thing. And it finished up. I logged in this morning really quick, as you can see. Wrong password, fixed it, came in, give me my IPs, and it's ready to go. So, we're going to log in and take a look. I'm not going to do any kind of crazy deployments or configurations tonight. One, I didn't really plan. This is the first time logging in, by the way. So, we click log in see what it gives us I have one viewer good evening one viewer she might need a minute you know she's brand new so I really this is the deployment page I really don't need it besides what I what I'm doing, I would need another guide for. This is the deployment guide for the virtual machine. Huh. Well, I guess we need to look up the default username and password.
How about this hurricane that's coming? Is this the same document I got open? It looks like it. Alright, so admin and then my password. I set that. Now, it worked earlier, goddammit. Because I logged into it. All right, so I know my damn password. It's exactly what I typed into the console. But the guy clearly says admin. With the username admin and the super admin role assigned. Quick start workflow automatically starts. I don't remember specifying yeah I didn't think so I'm just starting out with all kinds of problems with this streaming thing First day was DNS issues, and then NTP issues. Yesterday was buggy ESXi. It's 
Today I can't fucking log in. I mean, it's here. It's running, but I can't even fucking log into it. I probably need to take a break and get a good night's sleep. Let's open up this. Ha 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 Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. I spell admin. Oh, because I fucking spelled the password wrong. Y'all, I'm flipping tired. <laughs> Chloe's saying hi, y'all. All right, now let me get back to work. I'm not going to be on here long. All right, now that I got that done, I need to remember that. I know it. It's the same thing I've used for everything else. And then get out. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Plus, it's really hard to lab when my kids are in the living room watching Dragon Ball. Chala, hechala. Oh my god! Hey! Mom. Should probably skip this. 
this. Yeah, I'll skip it. Holy smokes, I'm about to beat some yards. Stop picking on each other. Hold. All right. So here is DNA Center. We've logged. This looks a lot different than the one. This must be a newer version because it's way different than the one I use at work. We got way more libraries. Site to site VPNs. Huh. So, for my lab, I'm going to be most worried about the security aspects of it. Um, we're going to, sure, I'm going to get to the, I'm, I'm going to use the utility parts of like updated images and, and stuff like that, but the IP and URL based access policy, I don't know if that's tested on. I haven't seen, like, I know DNA stuff is in here but I don't know how much wireless stuff I'm going to be tested on besides you know 802.1x and MAB and all that and TrustSec I have to use this to configure TrustSec well let's hit the hamburger and see that's familiar design and we'll do a hierarchy We're going to add an area. Lab home. This laptop does not like streaming. It does not like the screen capture either. That tells me I need to probably move to a different device. <sighs> we'll figure that out on Saturday. But let's add another area. Lab branch one. Lab 
branch two. We'll do four branches. So when we get to doing DMVPN, we really have a spread, right? I think four would be good. I mean, technically, we can do it with just three, but I want to do four. Oh, and then there's going to be instance where we're going to do a, a easy VPN type deal. Not easy VPN. Forget that. Flex VPN. We'll do flex VPN, but we're going to have the tunnel IPs pull from DHCP. Oh, I forgot to put three on there. Got to edit the area. I have branch three. So they turned on Dragon Ball. Right, the kids are in the living room. They're watching Dragon Ball. And... It's in Japanese. They don't know how to change the language. All right. So, for the lab, lab home is going to be physical hardware. We're going to have, we have a router, we have a couple switches, we have an AP. So we're going to run our wireless .1x here, our .1x on our switch. We're going to do all the on-prem stuff, which means I'm going to be, and the router is the same router that's supporting this, uh, v, this uh, server with ESXi and stuff. So we're going to create some VRFs inside that router. We'll create a lab VRF. Well, no, we're going to have to. I we'll have to figure that out. We'll figure that out in a later date. But branch one, two, three, and four, they're gonna be running inside of even G. Um that's spread the load. I'm also gonna have to get some uh different images. I don't think I have I don't have the virtual 9K to run uh I need to make sure the SGTs are populating. I know the virtual 9K, Catalyst 9, virtual Catalyst 9K. We'll do the SGTs and force them, and I'll also be able to deploy a small little fabric. I don't know if I'll get to that. Probably should. I mean, just for practice, since I have the resources. I mean, it's not going to help me on my CCA security deploying the SDA fabric, but it'll help me professionally because I was almost ready to push the button before. And I wasn't able to. So, yeah. All right. But in DNA Center, when you're starting brand new, you work on your hierarchy. Um, under your areas, you can have a built, you have buildings. So you can add a building. Building name. It's my fucking house, so we'll put house, put an address here. You can pick your longitude and latitude. Um, I can live anywhere in the world if I wanted to. If I wanted to change that, but we're not going to do that. Let's see where negative one, negative one puts me. I don't care about a country. Oh, I'm in the middle of the ocean somewhere. I'm right there off the coast of Africa. There's my house. It's a houseboat. Branch one, we'll add a building. The L 
LB1. Negative 2, negative 2. Add a building here. So you got to have buildings. You can have areas inside of areas, right? But it's not going to let you assign devices to an area. You got to have them in a building, which is kind of dumb, but that's how they want it. I mean, and it's not dumb, it's a good way of organizing. If you're in that environment where you had buildings and floors and stuff like that, yeah. Whoa. It says I only have two. I know I said it anyways. Whatever. I'm too tired to care right now. So there's a damn it lab where on houseboats in the middle of the ocean. So once you set up your network's hierarchy, you gotta go to design and you gotta make some settings. Alright. Now there's some things now you notice it's in a hierarchy, right? So you got your global lab branch area, and you got your lab your building. You can set as granular as your design is, right? So your hierarchy, you can go as granular as you set your hierarchy. So if you had branch one with building one, two, three, and four. If building one, two, three, and four needed different address spaces, you could go and put your address spaces in here, right? If for some reason you want a different credentials per device, you put them here, right? So. So your AAA servers, you can add them here. DHCP servers for managing client devices, DNS servers. So when we get around to adding DHCP to the Windows server, the subnets will go here and we'll add that globally. Um, DNS, uh, we can set a global DNS name. Damn it, dot local. Damn it stands for Damien A. Marshall Information Technology Library. It's going to be a thing. Maybe. Um, our DNS is going to be 92.168. Twenty. I said that sucker is twenty. Yeah, because ice is ten, DNA is fifteen, domain control is twenty. Image distribution probably not gonna mess with that. We're gonna do NTP easy. 
Oh, it makes me put an IP address. Maybe not. I want Eastern Standard Time, but what United How about New York? There we go. They have New York. Message of the day. This is my lab. Break it here. Not in production. Downtime. Costs money in production downtime in lab cost time. Depending on what you break, it can cost money, right? <laughs> but or line cannot exceed eighty characters. So we've made some global settings. Right. So I'm not going to sign SNMP because I'm going to want to write that down and save it. So we'll save that for later. I'm not going to do any global pools. I'm not going to have wireless available globally, so I'm not going to set that. But focus telemetry. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Enable Cisco DNA center wire. Yep. We're, we're going to collect data globally just because. This is going to help when we find when we get around to implementing secure network analytics um, and integrating all that stuff. That's going to help. We don't have that yet, so we're not going to be able to go too far. Security and trust. Nah. I'm not doing all that. All right, so that's your design. Damn it. Hey, here's our dashboard. So, we just went through the... Oh, we can make profiles. Oh. Go figure it out.
We're going to explore this later. I'm going to get some documentation on this. But as far as I know, I won't be doing profiles in DNA Center on my security lab. But we'll explore this. That looks cool. What does a firewall network profile consist of? At this point, we're exploring. This version of the DNA Center looks a whole lot different than what I usually buy. Let's see here. What we got for device types? Oh man, we got ASAs. I have one of those somewhere. I thought it was in my shed, but it's not. I can have as many of those as oh, well, not as many. I can have as many of those as EVNG can handle. But this only works with ASA. Now I'm seeing. I think this is new. ASA support's got to be new in the DNA Center. Well, fairly new. It didn't used to, you didn't used to be able to do anything with ASAs in DNA Center. And then tags. Well, we don't have any tags. We haven't gone to the place to make tags. Oh, wait a minute. There's an FTD TD button right here. No flipping way. We're going to explore this. Not. Well. We'll explore it now. Let's just see. We can always delete it later, right? All it does is set it in routed mode. Well, that was underwhelming. We will quit firewall design workflow. Have any service provider profiles? They do have my router in here. Oh, let's cancel. don't have a service provider profile. I don't have any image repository links. I'm not going to connect to Cisco to pull them anyway. Service. Oh, there we go. Huh. I wonder what that means. Yeah, so it comes with built-in templates, and they're good for examples. It looks like there's a few more than there used to be, though. No, there's still 
Jinjin Velocity. All the IPsec, I think, is no IPsec's on there too. Yeah, those are the same templates that they have in the older version of DNA too. Feature templates. Huh. What does that look like, though? The default multicast configuration, non-fabric on device. This is for AP though. No. To be honest, I'm a little too tired to really know what the heck uh, I will even want to do an authentication template. That's important. But I wonder if I'm be. I think that's new. Let's find out if that's new. Don't be sp don't be spying on my favorites now. No. No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Go back. I should open a new tab first. Yeah, well, I got to remember the credentials to get in here because it was like some kind of sandbox thing. DevNet user admin123. Two, 
Well, I can't log into the DevNet one anymore. Oh, what's up, buddy? Um, so, what'd you miss? Last night, uh, we deployed DNA Center, the virtual DNA Center. Um, this guy right here. DNA Center's a virtual machine running my ESXi. Here's the stuff it's using, the stats and all that. It took forever. We had some hiccups. You can also catch up on it. I put my video on YouTube, the recording from last night. And now I'm just going through what DNA Center looks like. But this DNA Center looks a lot different than the one we use. And I was going to log into this uh, DNA Center on the DevNet website, but apparently I don't have the I don't have to change the credentials, or I don't have the credentials for it anymore. You know what? Well, we're not getting into the DevNet. But yeah, actually, Joey, I said at the beginning of the video, this is going to be an early night because I'm tired. I, think I got home at 6.30 because I had to stay a little late. Had some stuff going on, you know what I mean? Oh, I have a third viewer. Well, we got Jetpacks Joe. Who's our other viewers? Say hi. Who we got here? Come on. So this is where we create IP and URL access control policies. Uh, we'll do test IP Oh nice! Right before all this rain too Hope you have good drainage and it doesn't drown. Because you know we're about to be getting rain for the next like three days straight. Um don't have SSIDs. Oh well. Exit workflow. Okay. IP network groups. Joey, what kind of grass did you lay down?
Oh, I don't want to do that. Who would ever want to do that? So what that button does is send your configs to, to Cisco to store. No devices in this system. Devices could be discovered with IP address range, CDP, LDP, or CIDR by doing device discovery. Alternatively, it could be added for existing inventory to be imported doing an import. Oh. So device discovery is probably not going to work because I don't have SNMP configured. Yeah, you gotta have at least SNMP running. Yeah, so you're not gonna be able to do it without SNMP, and I haven't configured SNMP, so we'll get to that later. I don't feel like doing it. Um, insurance. Insurance is cool. This is where you go troubleshoot all your network stuff. Um, that provision. Plug and play, we're not doing any automation. This is that button right there. This is that button you push and it deploys a fabric. It will provision the ISIS routing protocol. It's a factory default switches connected to and through the selected ports of seed devices. Golden image has been defined. It'll do the golden image. And before starting LAN automation, go to SD Access LAN Deployment Guide. And this is a lot of stuff. A lot of shit to do to do SD access. I don't really. We may get to that, but not not we're not doing nothing tonight. We're not doing nothing too crazy.
just got to verify connection to the URL. What is blue cat? Hey Nate, have you heard of Blue Cat IPAM? I bet that's going to be expensive. Nope. We're going to call it a night. This is a DNA center. It's pretty cool. Or the catalyst center. Cisco DNA center is becoming catalyst center. It says right there on our flipping page. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think tomorrow is going to be a short stream too. But Saturday we'll, we'll start earlier. Um... I'm going to get, maybe we'll deploy FMC in vSphere since I got plenty of resources now. Well, not plenty, but I have enough to do FMC confidently without exhausting what I have. We have 132 gigs of RAM that are free right now, so. We're looking to do an FMC, but um, I think Saturday we're going to buckle down and actually start lab labbing. We'll get on, uh, we'll get on EVNG and uh, we'll configure some ASAs. Yeah, we'll start back over to ASAs. But, um, hey, Joe's already gone, but uh, thanks for joining. And uh, Nate, glad to have you. Um, Y'all have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow.